I'll be showing how to create assignments in Microsoft Teams for education. Now I'm here in my class team as a teacher, and I'm going to go to the top and click on assignments. Now this is the assignment space. You can see that it's empty. I haven't created any assignments. I'll go down here and click the create button. And note, I can pull in existing assignments if I had some of those or create a quiz. We're just going to do create assignment. Now here's the assignment form and we're going to walk through some of the basics. First off, I'll give it a title. Note that I could add a category if I wanted. I'm not going to add one here. We'll keep it simple. I can give the instructions. So I'm just going to paste in my instructions right here. And I could do things like bold, indent, make it a little fancier. We'll keep this simple. But also note that I could add resources. So if I had instructions for the students I want to add, I'll add that right here. I can select OneDrive, my class notebook, a link. I can create a new file, or I can even upload from this device. And that's what we'll do here. I'll just select the Science Project instructions and attach those, and I'll hit Done. And note that this says students can't edit. So if this is just instructions and I don't want them to edit, that's the default. Note that I could choose the dot, dot, dot and say students can edit their own copy. And there's a few other options as well. But if you want to change it to they can edit the thing that you send, you can switch that right there. I can set points right here. So in this case, maybe I'll keep it simple, make it 100 points. I can also add a rubric. I'm not going to go deep into rubrics today, but there's a different video I have that does a deep dive into rubrics that shows all how you can use that for transparency and grading. Now, who does this get assigned to? By default, it's my biology class. This is biology one. But if I had a couple classes I teach, maybe I have some other classes here. I could go and select those as well. I can choose multiple classes. We'll just leave it at one class. Also, I can make it all students by default. But if maybe I want to differentiate and just give it to these three students, I could choose those three just by checking them on. I'll hit clear and we'll just leave it for all students getting the assignment. Next up is due date. So I'm going to drop this down and maybe I'll set it for Friday, August 21st. And I've got many different times to choose from a whole lot of options here. We'll leave it at the default of 1159. But this edit button is really important and gives you some more options for your assignment. So let's click this. Now first off, schedule to assign in the future. This is a great one. So let's say that I want this assignment to go out to the students on Monday. I'm creating it on Sunday. I'm getting ready for the new week. And I want it to go out on Monday at 8 a.m., let's say. And I can set that right here. So it's scheduled to go out Monday. The due date is still on Friday. Now this is also a nice one, close date. By default, students can turn in an assignment after the due date. We don't block that. But if I hit close date, I want to close this on Friday, August 21st at 11.59. That means no late turn-ins allowed. And it gives you a little example here. Now I'm just going to uncheck this scheduling in the future and I'll just hit done because I'm going to create my assignment right now. But be aware of that feature. Last up, a new capability we've recently added is the ability to post the assignment notification in somewhere other than the general channel. A lot of times you don't want to pollute your general channel, so I'll click edit and you can see there's a few options. I will post this in the unit one channel that I have and I'll hit done. Now my assignment is all ready to go and I'm going to click assign right here in the upper right. And you can see now that it's in my list of assignments as an educator, what's been assigned, what's been graded, or if I have drafts. Now you can see that assignment just posted. I get a little notification and you can see it is in the unit one channel. So I'm going to go in here just to show what it looks like. You can see the science project assignment is right here and I'll click view assignment. And as the educator, you can see all the students that have got the assignment. No one's turned it in because it just went out. In a future video, I'll be showing exactly how the educator can grade the assignment, give feedback, check who's turned in, who's haven't. But right now, we're all ready to go. We've created our very first assignment. If you found this video useful and you want to make sure you get all of my latest quick tip updates, subscribe to my YouTube channel and ring the bell to get the notification.